Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, Dave Madden, Market Analyst here at CMC Markets. Today's date is Wednesday the 18th of April 2018 and the time has just gone midday here in London or 12.04 British summer time to be precise. And this week's chart of the week is the Nasdaq 100, the cash market, or as we call it here uh, on our CMC Markets trading platform, the US NDAQ 100. And it's a, as I said, it's the cash market that we are having a look at. So taking a look at the chart here, we can see the Nasdaq 100 had a strong finish to 2017 and a very good start to 2018. But like global equity markets, endured a fairly big sell-off uh, in February of this year. It quickly managed to bounce back though and actually created its own all-time high, which is quite impressive for, for a global index to create a fresh all-time high in March of this year. But given some some, uh, uh, some uncertainty in, in relation to tech in relation to tech stocks, the Nasdaq 100 was adversely affected uh, in in March of this year. As you can see here, a large large sell off. But the market has been bouncing back over the last couple of weeks. These lines, which you can see here on the on the screen, these white lines are the Fibonacci retracement levels. Now, for those of, if those of you who want to find out where you, can, where you can get the Fibonacci retracement from, it's under the draw tools on our trading platform, and it is this one here where it says Fibonacci. It's beside the note note tab uh, A B C. Uh, the Fibonacci retracement is a effectively a theory that states after a after a, a move in the in the financial markets. That move will actually be re retraced. There will be certain significant retracement percentage points at which that move could be retraced. And applying the Fibonacci retracement level a theory to the, the the Nasdaq 100 from the highs of March to the lows of to the highs of March to the lows of, of April, what we can see here is the market has regained or, or retraced 61.8% of that downward move. And of course, 61.8% is one of the few uh, key key areas on the Fibonacci retracement theory. So also, it, it blends into the theory that the more a market retraces, the more the, the, the more a market retraces, the more likely it, it is to retrace all of the original move. So we can see here that yes, that today's high coincides with the 61.8% retracement level, which obviously is significant in itself. So it shows you that we have regained. We, we, we've regained over half the, the, the downward move from March to April, so we could possibly look to actually retest the, uh, the, the all-time high which was uh, achieved in March of this year. Also, taking a look at the chart, the price action in the last few weeks, we can see while the market was pushing higher here uh, from, the, from the beginning of April onwards, looking at the MACD indicator or the MACD histogram, we can see there's a steady increase in positive momentum. So the market's moving higher, and that's been confirmed by the steady increase in positive momentum. So for the time being, the momentum is with the bulls and with the buyers. If we do continue to push on higher from here, and we go north of the 61.8% retracement level, which comes into play at 6,839, should we go beyond that, keep an eye out for 6,931, which was the late March high. If you go north of that, the next big level to keep an eye out for will be the psychologically important 7,000 handle. And if we go north of 7,000, we'll have re then re 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 retraced most of the downward move. And it's, it, it, we, we, traders could then be looking towards the all-time high of 7,185. If we do manage to see some moves to the downside, we may actually see some fresh buyers enter the fold, seeing as we, we've already re retraced well over half of the downward move. So a move to the downside may have may find some support in at the 6,636 level, which is the 30, 38.2 uh, retracement um, mark. Notice how this area here did manage to act as both support and resistance on a, a couple of occasions. So uh, because it's been significant in the past, it could potentially be significant again in the future. A move south of there could bring us back down towards the 6,400 level. And if we go south of 6,400, then let's keep an eye out for the 200 moving average, which comes into play in at, this is the red line here, which comes into play at 6,342. Notice how the 200 moving average did manage to act as support uh, in earlier April. So once again, as it has significance recently, it could have significance again in the future. Should we then take out the 30 moving average, that would suggest we're, we're for further losses and we could be looking heading back down to the February low or the 2018 low of 6,163. And of course, if you go south of that, we'd be, looking, we'd be creating fresh new lows for 2018 and we could, could look at heading back down towards 6,100 figure. Well, that, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.